Hey, what's up? This is Fine Fine Ampli Game SC3 gaming USB mixer, and it's currently 49 bucks. Whether you are a gamer, a streamer, or just someone who wants to up their audio game, this mixer might be just what you're looking for. SC3 has a solid build with a sleek matte white finish. You can also choose black if you want. It feels durable and definitely looks like it belongs in a gaming setup with those customizable RGB lights. Of course, yes, a lot of RGB. AmpliGame is compact and lightweight, which makes it easy to integrate into any setup. It's got this nice premium feel despite being mostly plastic. The buttons and knobs are pretty responsive and feel satisfying to use. And I also will say that when you deal with rubber buttons, it's very important that they feel responsive to the taps on any corner as well as on the center, which is the case for this device. I mean, if you tap on any corner, it's still gonna work. I think the overall layout is intuitive and even if you're new to audio devices, you won't have a hard time navigating. I would even say it's a best for a buck solution if you're looking for your first audio interface. Now let's talk about features. The Ampli game is designed to be user-friendly, plug-and-play USB mixer, giving you control over microphone, game audio, chat, and even music or other inputs. One of its standout features is its ability to be used with uh, headsets via 3.5 millimeter jack. I think this is a game changer for those who only have headsets or prefer not to set up a desk mic and headphones separately. I'm a weirdo, so I have both. And I even have like, check these 3D printed holders for my headsets. Pretty cool, eh? Convenience is good, but most importantly, it allows you to significantly boost quality of your headset microphone. Usually, where the hell is it? No, there you go. See, usually these things, they don't have any sort of compression. So whenever you're, uh, let's say, very excited in your game and you have mates in the Discord and you start yelling, you basically ripping their ears off. You know this, this means that this microphone is overloaded and there's no compression applied. This is where you have to have any sort of USB mixer. And uh, there's something to note. If you plug an XLR mic and the headset into the mixer at the same time, the mixer will prioritize the headset mic. It is very handy if you want to keep your setup uh, simple and portable. The real-time audio monitoring feature is also crucial for streamers who want to ensure the audio is on point. The only downside for me is there's no way to adjust the level of this monitoring. Having my headsets on, I hardly can hear myself, even with the mic amp all the way up, which makes me go pretty loud in my Discord. If only I had a ability to adjust my level of monitoring, I would be hearing myself better and not be screaming. Even though there's no software, the RGB lighting is adjustable. You can choose any color to match your setup or even completely shut it off. You know, if it's not your cup of tea, but you're a gamer and don't like RGB, what's wrong with you? Performance-wise, the Fine Fine Ampli Game SC3 does a solid job for its price point. The sound quality is clear with a minimum background noise, thanks to the built-in noise reduction feature. The mixer's preamps are decent, and it handles both dynamic and condenser mics well. On a software side, uh, or to be completely fair, there's no software side. The AmpliGain is a plug-and-play device for Windows and Mac OS, so absolutely no need to fuzz around the drivers, the software, just plug, literally plug and play. Like I said, there's no software. Uh, it was kind of surprising. There's still uh, manufacturers who do stuff without software. But then when I started using it, I realized that the only reason for me personally to have a software is to adjust this level of monitoring. Everything else, you can basically press a button on the device itself and adjust. You can change a color scheme. You can change your voice real time. There are six presets, so you don't need more you can turn it off if you're singing on your streams 
God forbid, you can even auto tune for a specific, I don't know, what is the, are those notes, tones, I don't know. You can turn on phantom power. And also there's four customizable buttons. And I was like, how do you customize them? Very easy, you just press and hold and then you dictate something on your mic while holding or you play something on your PC while hold, holding it and then you release the button and basically next time you press it, this is what will be playing to your mates in Discord or your uh, public chat in, in the game, which is could be very fun. So you have four buttons for that. So you can adjust the level of your microphone or mute it instantly so while, while it's lighting. That means it it's muted. Otherwise, everyone can hear you. Line in or mute line in can adjust the level of your headphones, volume or turn on or turn off monitoring. If you're using only speakers in my case, you can just go ahead and uh, make it louder or mute your speakers. Everything is here. No need to adjust anything more than that. As expected, it works seamlessly with OBS and other streaming softwares. All right, let's break down pros and cons. Pros, user-friendly plug and play interface, solid build quality with a slick design, real-time audio monitoring. It's there, but you just cannot adjust it. RGB, come on. Clear sound quality with noise reduction. Separate audio channels for games and chat. Cons. Even though there's no perfect reason for it, I'd still prefer to have some sort of a software to adjust little tweaks and, you know, maybe it's just me. Most of the people just plug it in and play and then don't bother with it. I, I'd love to have a software. So, is the Fine Fine Ampli Game S3 worth the money. If you're a gamer or a streamer looking for hustle-free, budget-friendly audio mixer, maybe your first audio mixer to get into this whole thing, then absolutely yes. I mean, it's $49, come on. It's got a good set of features, performs well for the price, and looks great in any gaming setup. If you found this video helpful, press like and subscribe to my channel for more tech reviews. Also, please drop a supporting comment below and I'll catch you in the next one.